Hello there YouTube, so today I'm going to be doing a video just all about my kind of advice if you want to start creating a goth wardrobe. I know that there's lots of different goth kind of styles, I'm not saying you have to have all these things to have a goth wardrobe. If you don't like some of the things then that's absolutely fine, if this style doesn't really relate to you then it doesn't mean that you don't have a goth wardrobe at all. If you're into like kind of more different kind of subgenres then maybe this isn't for you. This is like a more typical kind of wardrobe I guess. And I've got here quite a few things from my wardrobe, some you would have seen before, some you haven't. Okay so let's start out with the obvious thing that is buy a couple of basic black tops, black skirts, plain black tights and just keep things very very plain because I know they're boring but you'll get so much wear out of them um for example I have a fair few just plain vest tops just like that just from H&M H&M's like a great place to go if you just want um lots of plain kind of stuff Primark as well is another great place I have um a couple of jersey plain black skirts just having things with patterns on can sometimes be an absolute nightmare when, when you're trying to put things together and it's just easy to slip on so if you're in a rush one day and you just want to quickly get your outfit together and go then sometimes all you need is just a plain black top don't you so I've got a couple of those I also wear black tights nearly every day I don't know what I would do without black tights in my life I love them and also plain black jackets this jacket I wear more than any other jacket again because it's so easy to put with everything I'll try it on for you so you can see and it is from boohoo.com and as you can see, it's just a very plain jacket. It's like three quarter length sleeves. It's like quite textured as well. I wear this jacket like all the time. <laughs> it's my favorite. They're things that you'll have for years on end and you'll wear right until you've got all you can out of them. And again, black boots. These are from H&M. Nothing fancy, nothing fussy at all, but something that, like I said, is easy to put with outfits. Once you've got those basic things, it's good to start incorporating other kind of materials and fabrics and patterns and things like that into your wardrobe. One fabric that I think most goths love is velvet and I've got a black velvet jacket that I've worn to death. Oh my god, I wear that one so much. I've got some other things here and you know, it doesn't have to be black. I mean, I wore this in my get ready with me video and it's just a long velvet skirt. This is from boohoo.com. This is absolutely gorgeous. I've had this for like a couple of years now. I've also got this in blue. I've also got a velvet bag. This is from H&M. Another velvet thing are, that I love that I've got are these velvet shoes. These are from ASOS. they little bats on them. Oh, and these are some velvet leggings that I've got. These are from Next. And I've also got them in a kind of teal kind of colour because I don't restrict myself completely to just wearing black. And I think... These are such a gorgeous colour. And also keeping things fairly simple but something I wear quite a lot, just some black shorts. And I love these, I think I've shown them to you before, kind of looks like a skirt but they are shorts. And these are from Primark. Velvet is super easy to get your hands on during the winter time. I've got so much velvet collected from over the years. Another thing that goths love is leather. I've got my leather shorts that I wear so much, I wear these all the time. Don't find an issue wearing these with anything because I mean I'm never wearing like a leather top or anything so nothing's gonna clash. So these are from H&M. Also H&M are really good for lots of um, for leather like this. They do lots of leather skirts as well. I don't have a leather skirt because I just wear these so much. But if you're more of a skirt person, which I usually am, then H&M are really good for doing things like that too. A leathery kind of bag as well. Very basic, this is from H&M. And one thing that I feel so many people should have in their wardrobe if they're a fan of leather is a leather jacket. Now this one, I, I think I wore this in an outfit of the day a few months ago. Just try it on for you. This is from Peekaboo Vintage and this is what it looks like. So it's got buckle at the front and it's got like zip kind of detailing at the side and like I said this is from Peekaboo Vintage at ASOS Marketplace. I'd also recommend looking in charity shops for uh, jackets because they will obviously be a lot cheaper and sometimes you can get a really good find in there. You can add badges to it, you can like add paint to it and like make it really personal. I know a lot of people do that which I think is super cool. Now if you watch my recent clothing haul you know this will be coming up and that is net. And as you can see, I'm wearing a neshi top at the moment. 
This is from eBay. Just adding this to my outfit I find makes all the difference because if I didn't have this it would just be a lot more plain and I think, yeah, like I said, it adds a lot to an outfit. I've also got netty skirts. Netty skirts are very, they're very witchy. I love them. And so this is like a netty skirt that I got from Oasis a while ago. It's kind of like a pleated kind of thing. It's super pretty. I love it and it's fairly long. This top I got a really long time ago. This is from Zara and I love it. Can you see it's like, it's kind of like netty but it's got stars in it as well. And I love this. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention is fishnet tights. Fishnet tights is something that I need to get this this year. I haven't got any. They're something that I would tell everyone to just at least give a go. They're really flattering. Something very similar to net that I would, again, recommend having is lace. Lace is absolutely gorgeous because it's a very delicate material and sometimes when you're wearing kind of gothy stuff with your leather jacket and your big chunky boots, having a bit of lace kind of adds something a little bit more delicate into your wardrobe. And so I've got this top here. Oh my god, I can't show you this first. It's from H&M again. Sorry. <laughs> um, this is this is Bring Me The Night, which is so goth. Yeah, that's like a like nice lacy top. And yeah, that's from H&M. I've also got a lace jacket which is from next of all places. I've got shoulder pads in which I really appreciate as someone that is a huge fan of shoulder pads. So this is the, it may be hard to see, but this is like the lace jacket that I have. Again, easy to put with lots of stuff and that's the lace there. I've also got this absolutely gorgeous lace dress which is incredibly short. This is from H&M. And see something like this which is very feminine would look so lovely with some big chunky shoes I think just to you know have a mix between the two and I think it just works really well and so that is that and it's got like a little bit of frill at the top as well and um, I've also got a lace cardigan from boohoo.com which is like a just like a long sleeve kind of throw on cardigan so it's super easy to wear nice to wear like on a day when you don't know whether to wear anything like over your top or not because when you wear something like this it's not going to make you too hot. Another thing that I personally like to wear that again it won't be for everyone but it's something I like especially as I love 80s fashion is polka dots. Um, I think it's like kind of very strawberry switchblade obviously and so also it's a way of putting a bit of like colour or two different colours into your wardrobe without going crazy. <laughs> so I've got this like polka dot bag here which is from Primark. I've got this polka dot top from H&M which is like really nice. It's got like lots of small polka dots. It is a bit see-through though. Or if you're not into polka dots then again this is from H&M and this is just like some skulls instead if you're into that kind of thing more than polka dots. Similar kind of effect you see. This again it's a very very thin kind of shirt. Another good way of adding colour into your wardrobe if you don't want to go full on black is tartan. I'm obsessed with tartan. I buy way too much tartan and it's ridiculous. I've got my tartan bag it's from New Look. So if you've got like an all black outfit then adding this like makes all the difference. This jacket I got, I've never worn this but I adore it and it's second hand so I can't really link you to a shop or anything for it but it's this jacket. I'll try it on for you. Now it seems like really really bright, you know, because usually you're probably used to seeing me in black, but it's just so gorgeous. It's got like this little velvet bit at the top and it's like got these black buttons as you can see. That's what it looks like on, full length sleeves. And so I do really like wearing this and I just want, I want it to be really cold outside already so I can wear this jacket finally. <laughs> Another thing is knitwear. It's really easy to find basic black kind of knitwear, whether it's a black cardigan, a black dress, a plain black knitted cardigans. I swear to you, you will wear so much. Again, like Primark or H&M would be a great place to find something like that. I've also got another couple of knitted pieces here that I love. This is from Topshop. It's this. Probably had that in a haul video recently, but if you didn't see that, then this is from Topshop again. It's nice to have something that's got a bit of colour in it. Well, this is from boohoo.com. Um, again, I've probably shown this to you before. But, like I said, it's nice to add a little bit of colour into your wardrobe. If you've got an all black look going on, then just having this. I mean, it's just so subtle, but it's just so easy to wear with things. And so, I would recommend, like, trying to look around for also 
maybe like dark red or navy or dark green kind of knitted things too because they will also really go with the whole goth look. So yeah like I said just start out with the very basic pieces that you'll know you'll wear nearly every day and then after that just think about other materials you like whether that be velvet, leather, lace, knitting, tartan, polka dots, knitwear, things like that. I mainly shop on the high street. I don't shop in any kind of gothy stores apart from like online I guess every once in a while. Something that again won't be for everyone but something that I like to do is um, have quite a lot of band t-shirts. I feel like band t-shirts make an outfit really interesting. I've got my Sisters of Mercy top on today and they are all so easy to find if you just eBay them. Just type in a band you like and just say so and so t-shirt and something will always come up. As see what I've done like with my outfit today, I've kind of got a bit of tartan, I've got some net as well, I've got a band top and then I'll be like probably wearing like a leather jacket say if I was going to wear a jacket today. As for boots, I've got a whole shoe collection video and I will link that down in the description. I'll now just talk briefly about accessories as well. I love rosaries. One of these is from eBay, the other is from H&M. Studded belts are really, really lovely to have. This one is from, I don't know where this is from. I got this online, I think. May, might have been eBay actually. This I got from Accessorize. It's kind of like falling apart a little bit. And this one here, which is like your typical kind of studded belt, is from H&M. As I've said in so many of my videos, I buy most of my jewellery from eBay because I usually have in mind what I want and I'll type it in and it will come up. Collars are something that I think are really great to have. This is from eBay, just my quite big studded collar. I've also got my little studded collar from eBay. Again you would have seen these but just in case you haven't seen any of my videos before. And um, this one here which is like a lace collar, I think this is from ASOS. And just also kind of very basic silver pieces like this cross necklace from ebay. I've got bat earrings, I've got cobweb earrings, I've got all sorts of earrings that are really gothy and I just type them in on ebay and they come up and they're and they're cheap as well. Another couple of good things to have if you're like me and you also like wearing the makeup as well is a good smoky eye palette. This one I would recommend so so much and it is the Naked Urban Decay Smoky palette, that's what it's called. And this, I'll show you the colours, it comes with this brush and also these are all the colours um, I'll just do it like that so you don't see the reflection but these are all the colours here and I've been using this every day and this is all you really need all the one that I have talked about plenty of times the Too Faced Smoky Eye Palette as well is really good that looks like that if you don't want to like kind of spend too much money on any then just like a, a black and a grey eyeshadow is all you need just um, having a look in like Boots or Superdrug or your local drugstore or whatever and there will be smoky eye palettes for you. People ask me quite a bit what black lipstick I wear. It is this one here by Barry M. I wouldn't really recommend it though because I need to use a lot of eyeliner to make it dark so I wouldn't really recommend this but I'm going to try some uh, liquid lipsticks because I think they would last a lot longer. Uh, red lipstick is another thing that a lot of goths love. The one I'm wearing today is by Marc Jacobs and, it, and it's the colour Dashing. It's a very, very, very cool toned red. But like my camera usually does, I bet it'll make it look kind of orangey, which is so annoying. <laughs> Dark nail varnishes are always good as well. This one here is a Rimmel one. I, I can't really remember what it's called, but it's one of those ones that dry quickly and I do like it. Another nail varnish I like is Gypsy Night by Topshop. It's like a black with lots of glitters in it as well. Follow fashion blogs like goth fashion blogs. If you're more into the kind of like gothic Lolita or things like that there's lots of Tumblr stuff that I've seen that could really be inspiring. But like I said they're not rules or anything. If you want to just wear a pink dress one day then don't feel bad for doing it or anything. And when it comes to things like hair and stuff I don't stick with the same hair dye, I use a different one every time, I don't really have a black hair dye to recommend. Manic Panic are really great if you're like into like really dramatic goth makeup looks. They do like white powder and things like that as well. So they have an online store I believe so have a look on there. I love Punk Rave so much and I also like Killstar, is it Killstar? Something like that. If you want any kind of netty tops like this then eBay it and yeah I shall see you again in my next video. Thank you everyone so so much for watching and let me know what you'd like to see down in the comments. I will see you again very very soon. Bye everyone.